What's up, gang? We're pitch side here at Wembley ahead of the big community shield and it's between Manchester United and Leicester. Now this is the Leicester seats all over here um, and we also have the United ones way over there too. And uh, we're going to be talking to Ryan Giggs in a little bit so I'm going to be asking him a few questions about the game. But yeah, this is it. the pitch is always 10 out of 10 in this place. I mean, I don't know, well, I, I hope a lot of you guys uh, have seen the video where we actually played on Wembley about a year ago now and uh, it was so much fun. But if you just take a look, like the pitch is so nice and so well kept. But yeah, blue sky, sick day at Wembley. I, I feel like I'm always here now, but it's good. And uh, yeah, let's go ask Ryan some questions and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and watch the game. I'm here with Calix, by the way, Calix is upstairs right now. He's not here. So uh, yeah, we'll go and uh, say hello to him. And let's go. Look at this guy, what does he do? He comes to, uh, he comes to the community shield and what's that? He's sitting on gyms. He's Bro, put his snore on. me a slack. Yo, he's he's like, look, literally, me right now, Snorlax. Snorlax. I'm dead, I'm Only dead. Me. You're actually criminal. Do you know what happens though? People keep trying to get me off, like they're battling me now. The yeah. minute it goes neutral, I you, have another Pokemon on it. You know, you're the worst type of Pokemon I'll player. I wait for them to do the hard work, <laughs> and then it's gone. <laughs> he's the worst type of person, the worst. Yeah, but Lester will try and catch him on the counter attack. Yeah. And it's how uh, Jose Mourinho sets his team up. All right, and what do you think to uh, Musa, their uh, new signing? He scored an incredible yeah. goal um, earlier on. So how do you reckon uh, they'll play today? Yeah, I mean, it'll be interesting to see him as well. We come across him last year, we, we played. Yeah. Um, did he? CSK, I should know that. CSK, I think. Uh, CSK. Yeah. Uh, so we come up against him first hand last year. He's in, I've seen the goal against Barcelona, which is yeah. obviously the top goal. But with him and Vardy, they've got that double threat now yeah. where any mistake made, you know that they're going to be running the channels. Moose is probably a little bit better running with the ball sure. um, than Vardy, but Vardy obviously not going to give the money out of defenders any rest at all and he's going to be hunting them down and he's a goal scoring threat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how do you reckon they'll, do you reckon they'll be challenging for the title again this year? Obviously, they came out of completely nowhere last season. Do you reckon it was sort of a one-hit wonder style of thing or do you reckon they'll just be pushing for it again? I think that's the interesting thing about the season. No one yeah, knows no, what's going to yeah. happen. There's so many different aspects, the managers coming in, uh -huh. what are Leicester going to do? Winning the league can either give you confidence to actually we, we do it, we've done it, Let's go on to that next level. Or it can be a difficult season because everybody wants to be the champions. Yeah. And the spotlight is now on them and so much is expected of them. Uh -huh. But they deserved it last year and did not change too much. Obviously Kante is a blow because he was so instrumental for them yeah, last year. Absolutely. But I still expect him to do okay this season. Okay. And um, if you were to sort of give your prediction for the top four this season, who would you who would you be uh, picking for? I don't, for? No, 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 I don't think anyone has. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, because of Leicester, uh -huh. obviously Tottenham was so impressive. United were, were out the top four. Chelsea were out the top four. Yeah. It's a real difficult, uh, difficult season to predict. As a United fan, I'm slightly worried about Liverpool. Okay. So I think they've fought pretty decent. Yeah. And they've got no European football. They've right. just got a week to prepare for games. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, so I'm a little bit worried about Liverpool. Right, okay. I mean, me being a Liverpool fan, that's always uh, you know, encouraging to hear. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you were to looking at that side, what do you think um, that sort of Klopp has done that has sort of changed things around? Do you reckon that they look a much stronger side than they have done in the last couple of years? Or yeah, because I think they've added well. You know, the centre half, um, yeah. who they bought, they needed to buy a centre half. Uh -huh. um, obviously, Mane and Van Alden. We both yeah. had very good seasons last year, and what they will bring, they'll bring more goals. Yeah. And Alden, very good ahead of the ball, very good in the air. And Mane, quick. Also good defensively, we'll, we'll do a job both up front and on the right. Um, in terms of if there's one player you reckon is sort of a, a dark horse for the season, you've got a player to look out for. Some say, you know, Mares came out and sort of stunned everyone. Uh, same with Jamie Vardy, obviously two Leicester players. Are there any other players in, in the Premier League or maybe a, a new transfer that sort of um, got you thinking, you know, this guy could do a lot of damage well, in the Premier what, League? What would be interested, interesting is how... Gundogan will do for City whether right, he can okay. stay fit because if he stays fit he is a quality player right, okay. a very very good player but he's had a lot of injury problems over the last few years uh -huh. if he stays fit and plays all season then he'll be a fantastic player for Manchester City yeah. again it's how he adapts to that Premier League um, with the injury record that he's got but yeah it'll be interesting to see how he does this year final question um, do you have a score prediction for today would you like to just take a punt uh, I think It'll be close. Yeah. I think uh, United 2-1.
Okay, great. Cheers for that. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, cheers. Thanks, Thank you. Another game with some napkin on some food, yeah? And again, I can't take Hal out anywhere lately. If he has his phone on, he just, bloody, he just plays this crap game. I'm joking, it's not crap, but if you don't, if you don't get this yet, yeah, you have to stand up and say Cal's the best YouTuber ever. I just want to make an announcement. Calix is the best no. YouTuber ever. You said Cal. You're a rat. <laughs> Divvy Dirty. Boy, how buff does that look? What even is that? Man, what, you know. boring for the most part except for Jesse Lingard's goal. That thing was incredible. He literally went past like two or three players and then he, you know to be fair to uh, Schmeichel he actually got a touch on it but it wasn't enough and that made it 1-0 but honestly besides that it's been a pretty stale game. Ibra hasn't really impressed me too much yet. Uh, there's just so many unforced errors right now so both teams are clearly you know just coming back from preseason they're not it's not their match sharpness just isn't there just yet um but yeah hopefully the second half has a little bit more gold a little bit more shots on target just get the game a little bit more lively i don't want to waste too much more time we're gonna have another one of these bomb ass these brownies. are so good yeah these are literally we've literally up, eaten like most of these anyway let's go second half today that was it um i hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did then make sure you leave a like a thumbs up or whatever you want to do um i hope you guys watched the game as well and if you did i'd love to hear your thoughts on the game down below in the comments um i've had a great day i want you guys to have a great day and um yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in a bit bye bye Wah!